RT plate version and some, some other vehicles. Um, Rod Knight told everybody when they came, when um, Free Tag came back, he briefed everybody in the conference room. Rod Knight sat down and told everybody at that meeting that they had to join ISTBS. It was a good conference, good group, and you all said he expressed it. It was deep concern to him because he wasn't making much money back then and he couldn't afford the fees. But, he, uh, Rock Knight was able to impress upon particularly the modeling group to go that route, and it's, it's paid off ever since. Um, but these these are the first people from Waterways to head that way. Uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers developed some systems that were simplistic and, and somewhat empirical. What you're looking at is a cone penetrometer that's still around today. In fact, we'll test the joint uh, GLTV in a couple of weeks in the Hank Hodges area using the cone penetrometer. Uh, there's a type of bevimeter on the left, sorry. And, um, but the bevimeter 100 was actually introduced at this conference in 61, and there was some discussion then on how to, how to, which instrument to use and how to use it. And if that date is right, that, uh, it's 1945, I think, in that picture on the bottom corner. So there was some soft soil tests being done in some of the lakes, rivers, and uh, plains around Mississippi.